What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I got another topic for you, a topic for a fight that could be made reality real soon. Um, this is um, a request from Von Guy underscore double M, if I got that pr uh, pronunciation right. You know, um, a fan from the UK, fan of the channel, friend of the channel. And she was asking, um, will Dillian White give Anthony Joshua problems in the second fight because of his improvement, you know, his um, obvious improvement in his fights because he hasn't lost since Anthony Joshua. In fact, he hasn't lost any other fight except the fight with Anthony Joshua. Um, to answer that question, yes, Dillian White will definitely give Anthony Joshua problems. And it's up to both fighters, really, on what they do as far as strategy. Because I noticed with Dillian White, he adjusted in the Chisora fight. It wasn't just, yes, it was a slugfest. It, yes, it was, you know, action packed because of how Chisora fought him, not necessarily how uh, Dillian White fought back. Dillian White did have strategy. He knew he had to uh, control himself. He knew he had to pace himself, throw the lazy right, follow with the left hook, and, it, and that took 11 rounds, okay? So it took him a while to set up that left hook, all right? And I've noticed something about Dillian White. He's learned a lot through fight after fight, you know? And I think he's taken a little piece of each of these fights with him, right? And together, he's a very, very formidable opponent for Anthony Joshua. You know, this fight here, I think it's going to be a little bit more intense because of the buildup with it. I think Dillian White did piss off Anthony Joshua. I think Anthony Joshua just held it together well. And this is a dangerous fight for Anthony Joshua because obviously... Joshua's objective is to get the bigger fights, to get the Fury fights, to get the Wilder fight, you know what I mean? To get these big fights, whereas there's this a guy that's in front of him that's saying, hey, I'll fight you, skinny, uh, skinny piece of shit, right? And he's already beat him. The only problem is, you know, the fight was a good fight. It was competitive, okay? Can Anthony Joshua do that again? Have any Anthony Joshua improved? you know, through this time. Yes, they've both improved. But here's the, here's the question. How good and how well will they improve fighting each other? What will they bring to the table to show any difference between what happened the first fight and what happened, you know, possibly in this fight? You know, um, I know Anthony Joshua, you know, he his weakness is the left hook. You know, you know how many times Vladimir Klitschko landed that left hook to Joshua after Joshua put him down? as his comeback, right, after Joshua was gassed. So I don't think it's a chin thing, you know. Joshua's already tasted that left hook that Dillian White had to offer. However, you know, now it's a more controlled left hook. You know what I mean? A more uh, placed left hook, I feel, that he's going to try to implement. You know, it's a dangerous fight for Joshua because he's, he's pressured to make these bigger fights, so he might inadvertently be overlooking Dillian White. Because if you remember in the interview when they asked Anthony Joshua about Dillian White, he was pissed. He was like, I already knocked this clown out before. You know what I mean? So when I do it again, don't say nothing. Don't be unentertained, okay? So it makes sense. But one thing about anger, okay? And one thing you should never do in boxing is only focus on what you can do to the opponent. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's the worst thing you can do. Look at Pacquiao Marquez Ford. Pacquiao got a bum rap with the decision against Timothy Bradley. He decides not to fight Bradley again. He goes right for Marquez because everyone speculated that fight. So he went right for him. And I think Manny was worried about, of course, the future fight with Mayweather. Okay. Um, you know, those negotiations were constantly going back and forth over the pond. His desire to knock out Juan Manuel Marquez, right? Catch him with that straight left, which he did. And to the point where he was 
when you're anger, you can only see tunnel vision. And that shit does not work in boxing. Okay, because the thing that you don't see will knock you out, and you knew he did not see that right hand coming. Okay, six round, two minutes and 59 seconds into that, he did not see that coming. Boom, out cold. The same thing could happen to Anthony Joshua. Now, if he's only worried or concerned about what he can do to Dillian White, he also needs to be focused enough to understand what Dillian White can do to him. You know what I mean? And I use Manny Pacquiao and Juan Manuel Marquez as a perfect example is because Manny was the guy that was on the top. He was a top echelon fighter. OK, him and Floyd. OK, they were the they, he was a part of the, the 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 big two, you know, like Lennox Lewis calls the big three. Right. So, yeah, Joshua could inadvertently, you know, overlook Dillian White, because he figured, man, I can knock this guy out, wait till I land that right hand I did last time, and that'll be over, right? But he can't have that type of mindset that takes a different type of focus to realize that this fighter is a new and improved fighter. This fighter is a fighter, yes, you've knocked out, but hey, don't underestimate, because that's the last, that's the worst thing that Anthony Joshua could do right now in this part of his life in his career gets upset by Dillian White simply because Dillian White is one that's hungrier and he's overlooking him. And it happens all the time in the sport of boxing. Okay. So, um, yes, he's very dangerous. He's a very dangerous opponent. You know what I mean? And his hunger shows that he wants that fight. He deserves that fight. If there's anyone that deserves that fight, it's him. You know what I mean? So, yeah, he could give Anthony prob Anthony Joshua definitely a lot of problems, you know. But again, it's up to the mindset of Anthony Joshua if he goes in there with the dark side. Who knows? You know what I mean? He might get caught with something. But if he goes in there with a with, you know, um, not just throwing bombs, but throwing them in, in in the right spots, in between those left hooks, counter that you know you know counter that left hook with his right, he should be fine, you know. So I think this fight will be more um, more action-packed, but it's going to be a dangerous fight for both fighters. But anyway, that's my take on it. I think that, you know, this fight is close to being announced anyway, more than likely. So you guys tell me what you think about Dillian White versus Anthony Joshua or jo Anthony Joshua versus Dillian White. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.